The infamous clash of Twitch Prime events in the mischievous world of botters and gold farmers. RuneScape hosts a Twitch Prime event at least once or twice a year which includes 7 free days of membership. Something that us botters and gold farmers are always looking forward to. While these events increase player engagement and popularity for the game, it definitely gives us botters an incentive to bot even more. 7 free days of membership is more than enough time to profit in any botted method out there. Smithing cannonballs, killing green dragons, and catching minnows. Seemingly innocent methods, but not in the hands of these clever exploiters. These activities guarantee profit, making them the go-to choices for expiring botters. And with such low requirements, they become the prime targets for Twitch Prime Gold Farming shenanigans. But in this video, we're going to be doing things much differently. Rather than trying to focus on goat farming to make profit, we will be going in another direction and that is account building. Account building involves leveling up several stats that are tailored towards a specific task in the game. For example, there is a demand for Zora accounts due to the boss being very profitable. Killing Zora can grant up to 1.2 million GP profit per hour depending on the stats. With the current GP rates, that's about 19 cents per hour. It may not sound like a lot, but with each bot running 24-7, the potential for profit becomes absurdly immense. It's like a gold mine of virtual riches and these builders are mining it with gusto. Imagine how many more bots you could run with a farm. Tens, twenties, thirties, and even hundreds of accounts. That is a shit ton of money. In the market, Zora accounts typically go for around between the $25 and $45 range depending on the stats and gear. In the bare minimum, 75 range, 78 mage, 43 prayer, 70 defense, and regicide is required. Some account builders also include Mage Arena 1 and 2 capes and even Void Armor in their Zora accounts to increase their value. But remember guys, focus is key. It's essential to have a goal in mind or you'll end up with an account that's about as valuable as a bronze dagger. Choose your stats wisely or you'll find yourself in a world of useless levels. I don't really have anything in mind of what accounts I should be building during Prime Month, but it's something that I'm trying to figure out as soon as possible. Um, right now, I'm just starting up multiple accounts that will train combat. I'm using this progressive hill giant script that will train my accounts at chickens, then cows, then outgrid warriors, then finally at hill giants. I've gotten several accounts to 60 attack, strength, defense, and even 45 prayer with this script in the past. I don't think I should have too much trouble doing this again during Prime Month as ban rates are known to be notoriously much higher. Before starting the hill giant script though, I use a mealing script to meal some gold to my bots to buy the gear needed. I also use a GE trader script to buy the necessary items. These scripts all come from Botting Hub which comes with a bot manager that allows me to start several bots at the same time. I'm taking advantage of the script queuing that they have as it will save me a lot of hassle instead of running these scripts manually one by one on each bot. It's finally Prime Day y'all. I managed to get Prime on these accounts for about 1.8 mil each. A bond is about 8 mil, so we saved 6.2 mil on each bot by using Prime. So I ended up deciding that I will be making a Chaos Root farm. It has very low requirements to make one and the XP and GP is pretty decent. I can make in between around like 100 and 120k GP per hour on top of 10 to 15k combat XP per hour. I will make the cost of Prime back in only about 15 to 18 hours, which is pretty worth it. Everything after that is pure profit. These bots will be running 24 7 until they get banned or until their membership expires. The account building portion comes in play here by selling the accounts after their Prime membership expires. I expect to reach around somewhere between like 70 attack, strength, and defense from here. An account with those kind of stats go for around $5 each. Using the GE Trader script and script queuing feature, the bots fight Chaos Druids in between 5-7 to seven hours and then sells the loot, then meals the gold to the mealer. It is on loop, so everything is automated after I start up the Chaos Druid bots. Here are some stats of the Chaos Druid bots after running for over 24 hours straight. Not bad at all. So y'all, I ended up running a server out for around $100 that can run up to 70 bots during the Prime Month. Prior to this though, I have a laptop that can run around 29 bots and my main PC can run around 15. So that's about almost up to around like 114 bots that I can run on any given day. Hopefully I can cap it out. If not, it's whatever. I can still run a lot of bots. I can still make a lot of money. While doing some research on what accounts are in demand, I decided to make a few 600 total level accounts. 
These accounts serve a variety of different purposes. They tend to be used as meals due to their human-like stats, evading bot profiling. They can also be used for different money makers too. Creating these accounts may sound like a challenge, but it's it's relatively easy. I can use a progressive hill giant script to get some combat levels. Then I can use the botting hub account builder script that trains multiple skills such as crafting, fishing, cooking, wood cutting, smithing, and even well, several more. The recent addition of magic to the account builder script opens up further possibilities, allowing for enchanting, teleportation. High Alchemy, and Lunar Spellbook spells. I plan on using this feature sometime soon in the future. I fired up more bots across my server, laptop, and PC. I ran a ton of more Chaos Root bots and Hill Giant bots. You can see how many bots I'm running in the dashboard. Unfortunately, a lot of my Chaos Root bots got banned within a few days, but I can easily replace them with a new batch. I still make profit from these accounts due to membership costs being so low. While my Chaos Root farm is running, I looked into making Blast Furnace ready accounts. The requirements for these accounts are very low and take only one day to prepare. 30 smithing is required. The coal bag is also highly recommended for the Blast Furnace minigame, allowing one to hold up to 27 pieces of coal in the bag without taking any inventory slots. Blast Furnace ready accounts come with a coal bag on top of ice gloves which removes the need for a bucket of water, freeing up an inventory space. These accounts typically go for around $4 each and the cost of making these accounts is paying for Prime which is only 35 cents. In order to get the coal bag, I would need to gather 100 golden nuggets which are obtained from the motherload mine. I ran a few bots to test to see if I could make these accounts without getting banned. Unfortunately, it was very, very short lived and I got banned within 24 hours. I ended up scrapping this method. You can try this too, but in my experience, it did not go out well. Things aren't looking too great so far, but I mean, it's only been the first few days. I know I'm guaranteed they make profit, it's just whether or not how can I maximize my time and efficiency to make the most profit this month. Prior to the Twitch Prime event, I built several accounts geared towards fighting the RDO boss, which is a wilderness boss that lies in the Hunter's End. The boss drops the Void Waker Hilt, which goes for around 80 million GP. The profit per hour for killing this boss is around 3 million GP per hour which is extremely high considering its low cost of entry to set up. 70 range, 43 prayer, and 79 mage is all that's needed to kill this boss. I have bought an RDO myself a while back and it's one of the best gold farming methods and for that reason is why it might be the number one hotspot for bands. Accounts tend to not last very long here and they could be banned within hours. Some accounts last a day and others may last up to a week. The reason why the demand for RDO accounts are so high is because one hilt drop is all it takes to regain the cost of the account and even make a bit of profit. RDO ready accounts typically go for around between $13 and $18. I'm going to take advantage of Twitch Prime membership by getting some of the stats needed for these accounts. I won't be able to get it all within the 7 days from Prime. And for that reason, these bills are sort of an investment so I will be saving this content for around week 2 or 3 in Twitch Prime. I moved my hill giant accounts to moss giants once they were around 50 attack, strength, and defense to free up more instances for the hill giant script. Moss giants offer similar XP rates and the GP profit is much better. Our focus is not making money from killing moss giants though. Once these guys get around 60 attack, I will prime them up for pay to play combat. Look at how many hill giant bots and moss giant bots I'm running on my server. After a couple of days of not paying attention to these bots, they managed to get 60 attack and a bit of strength levels. I sold the loot which got me around between 500 and 600k per bot. I mentioned pay to play combat earlier, where these guys will end up is a place in the wilderness called the Chaos Temple. Within the Chaos Temple resides several elder Chaos Druids. Their drop rate is similar to Chaos Druids with the exception that they drop uniques, notably the Elder Robe set. Due to their unique drops, killing Elder Chaos Druids ranged in between 100 and 150k GP per hour. The downside of fighting these druids is that 37 prayer is required to use to protect from mage spell. There is an altar in the middle of the temple so prayer potions are not required. Luckily, both the hill giant and moss giant script supports bone burying so we usually end up with around 43 to 45 prayer on all of my accounts. This may be one of the best areas to bot in for XP and GP. I've bought it here for months on end and I've never received a ban from my personal experience. With Prime membership, it's guaranteed to make in between 10 to 12 mil profit per account from 7 days of botting at Elder Druids.
After priming these Moss Giant accounts up, I used a GE Trader script to buy a Dragon Sword, Combat Bracelet, Glory, and Monk Ropes for my bots. If I die in the wilderness, I lose 3 of the most valuable items in my inventory. I pretty much risk close to nothing if I die. The script that I will be using to kill Elder Chaos Druids include automated restocking, so I wouldn't have to worry if I die. I bought so many Dragon Swords across 15 bots that the GE Trader script stopped working because I didn't have enough money to buy a Dragon Sword. Sometimes, not everything is automated and requires a bit of dependence on the market. I had to wait an hour in order to buy a Dragon Sword for the rest of my bots. I finally fired these guys to Elders where they will be training here for the next 7 days. Y'all, I did not forget about the 600 total level accounts. They've been using the account building script to raise their total levels up. Here, this account is training Herblore. This one is training cooking at the GE. This one is going to train fishing. This one is at Varrock training woodcutting. And this one is training mining. I also used a progressive fire making script to train fire making on these bots for more levels. As you can see, this account is close to 500 total levels and free to play. We're going to be using Prime Membership to get the last 100 total levels. The first thing we did was complete Tourist Trap to get 20 Thieving and 20 Agility. It's one of the best quests to get free levels and it even allows you to skip botting Agility for the first 26 levels if you had put all the XP into Agility. I bought a 38 Herblore after completing the quest which did not take long at all. I also got 10 Fletching, completed the Varrock Museum getting us 9 Slayer and Hunter, and did the questline for Guardians of the Rift but I did not record the footage for that unfortunately. The bots ran overnight while I was asleep and managed to get these levels in one click. Honestly, that goes to show you how effective script queuing is. Here is what the final product looks like for this account. I'm going to be using Monkey's Bank Sailor script to sell whatever loot I have left in this account before mealing the gold and selling the account off. I have 9 other accounts that are just like this. These accounts are available to be bought on my Discord which you can find under the YouTube description. Here is where I'll be posting my botting progress in the accounts I built which will be up for sale. Overall, week 1 went pretty great I would say. Be on the lookout for week 2 and week 3.